To assemble the Sika MBCA measuring station, first ensure that you have enough space around, in front of, and above the device. You also need a box about two feet tall or an office chair, as well as a rug or a fabric you can place between the floor and the device when you assemble certain parts to avoid scratching sensitive surfaces. You have received three boxes containing all the elements of the final device. First, carefully place the weight scale upside down onto a soft, non-scratching surface. Take the crossbeam and place it on the corresponding area on the scale. Place six washers onto the holes in the crossbeam and tighten six M6 by 20 screws with the five millimeter Allen key. If you have a torque wrench, apply the Newton meters mentioned in the manual. Carefully flip the scale right side up. Remove the column socket cover with the 4mm Allen wrench. Put aside the cover and associated screws for later reassembly. Beneath the cover, identify the two BIA foot electrode cables. Place both cables through the cutout. Next, get the bottom column segment. Slide the segment onto the platform and ensure the proper placement of the cables. Mount the segment on the platform using a 5mm Allen wrench and four M6 by 20 screws. Take the components of the standing aid and tightly screw the two poles into the BIA handrail assembly. Put aside on a soft surface. Tightly screw the shorter of the two threaded rods into the bottom column segment. Now slide the center column segment over the rod, such that the rod runs through the center duct of the segment. Now place the profile connector onto the column. Place the washer and long nut onto the rod. Tighten the nut with the 10 mm spanner. Take the handrail connector, remove the rear cover with the 2 mm Allen key. Put aside for later use. Remove the cable entry cover by carefully pushing the two pins outward. This frees the cover for removal. Put aside for later use. Insert a flathead screwdriver into the small slits on the side of the BIA box to remove the two covers. Put the covers aside for later use. Remove the top cable entry cover by carefully pushing the two pins outward. This frees the cover for removal. Follow the same procedure for the bottom cover. Put both covers aside for later use. Slide the BIA box into the duct until it reaches the assembly aid at the bottom. Rest the cardboard assembly aid on the base of the mounting duct. This is the proper height for mounting the BIA box. Fix the box in position by tightening the four screws with the 5mm Allen key. And remove the assembly aid. Next, slide the handrail connector down the mounting duct. Position the connector such that the marks on the connector line up with the center of the profile connector between the base and the center column segment. Tighten the two screws with the 5mm Allen key. Place a box or a chair in front of the device and tilt the device forward until the column rests on the elevated surface. 
guide the two BIA hand electrode cables from the center of the standing aid through the opening at the top of the handrail connector. Lift the standing aid over the column such that the two poles align with the holes in the crossbeam. Attach the BIA standing aid to the handrail connector using the two M6 by 12 screws and the five millimeter Allen key. Then use the M8 by 40 screws to attach the poles to the crossbeam. Decide on which side of the column you would like to mount the display. Turn the arm accordingly and attach the display to the arm using the 3mm Allen key and the M4 by 70 screw. Remove the rear cover of the display holder and put it aside. Slide the arm through the cable duct and secure the display such that the top of the display is level with the upper profile connector of the column. Secure the holder in position by tightening the two screws inside the arm with a 5mm Allen key. Tilt the device down again. Now take the remaining threaded rod and tightly screw it into the long nuts on top of the center column segment. Then take the top column segment and using the same duct, guide it over the rod. Place the column end piece over the threaded rod and secure it with the nut M6. To prepare the ultrasound measuring head for assembly, first remove the measuring head cover using the 2mm Allen key. Put it aside for later use. Next, place the head onto the column such that the head sits flush on the column and the threaded rod appears through the opening within the head. Place a washer on the threaded rod and use the long nut M6 to secure the head on the rod and column. Next, connect the cable originating in the platform and labeled 5 to socket 5 in the BIA box. Connect cable 6 from the platform with socket 6 in the BIA box. Connect cable 4 from the handrail to socket 4 in the BIA box. Connect the cable from the handrail labeled 1 into socket 1 in the BIA box. Route the cable away from the BIA box so that no tension is applied to the connector on the BIA box. Carefully stow excess cable in the handrail. Plug the connection cable into its socket at the back of the display. Guide the cable through the cutouts and the back of the display holder through the opening into the cable duct of the column. Then guide the cable upwards into the back of the ultrasonic head and into either of the available sockets. Loop the excess cable inside the head. Now take the long connection cable and insert one end into the Sika device bus at the top right of the BIA box sockets. Then guide the cable through the cable duct underneath the handrail connector and the display holder upward toward the ultrasonic head. Insert the cable into the remaining sockets and loop the excess cable in the head. Connect the short connection cable into the remaining socket on the scale. Then connect the other end of the cable to the Sika device bus at the bottom right-hand socket of the BIA box sockets. Place the foam clamps at a distance of about 40 centimeters or one and a half feet. Then insert them into the cable duct to gently secure the cables in the duct. Measure the cover profiles to fit the exposed stretches of the cable duct. Use a wire cutter to cut the covers to fit the different areas. Insert the pieces into the duct. Next, reattach the ultrasonic head cover.
slide the back cover onto the display holder. Insert the cable entry piece into the handrail connector and mount the back cover of the handrail connector. Insert the cable entry pieces at the top and bottom of the BIA box. Then reattach the back covers of the BIA box. Reattach the column socket cover with the 4mm Allen key. Now you can tilt the device into its upright position. Assemble the calibration rod by attaching the ultrasonic calibration plate to the ultrasonic calibration rod. To put the device into operation, follow the instructions in the operating manual. 